The protocol allows mutation rate estimation in microbes. It can demonstrate how an organism's environmental context affects probability of spontaneous mutation. The main advantage of this protocol is that it's cheap and efficient. Many estimates of mutation rate can be made in parallel. Mutations that this protocol measures confer resistance to antibiotics. So this protocol can be used to study one of the world's biggest challenge, antimicrobial resistance. This method can provide insight into how cells' ecological context can affect the evolution of antimicrobial resistance. This protocol estimates mutation rates in the monoculture of a laboratory strain, but we have applied it to clinical strains and co-cultures of two strains distinguished by a neutral marker. The most hazardous reagents used in this protocol are antibiotic rifampicin and methanol. So make sure to use protective gloves and goggles when rifampicin is dissolved in methanol. To begin this procedure, inoculate 3 milliliters of liquid lysogeny broth with a scrape of ice from the E. coli K12 glycerol stock. Shake the LB culture at 120 RPM and at 37 degrees Celsius for approximately 7 hours. After this, dilute the culture 2,000 fold with a saline solution. Add 10 milliliters of liquid Davis minimal medium to each tube, with each containing a different concentration of glucose, as shown here. Add 100 microliters of the diluted culture to 350 milliliter screen cap conical bottom polymer tubes. Prepare 22 milliliters of five different solutions of liquid Davis minimal medium with glucose, each in its own 50 milliliter tube.